Rubius can be used to request a ticket granting ticket without PAC for a domain user. If the ticket size is smaller this indicates that the domain controller is vulnerable to SAM account name spoofing since the ticket was issued without PAC. By default users on the domain can create up to 10 machine accounts. PowerMad can be used to create a new machine account from a PowerShell session. The next step is to remove the service principal name value from the machine account that has been created. This is trivial by executing the set domain object PowerShell function from PowerSploit. The SAM account name attribute value can be modified with the set machine account attribute function from PowerMad. This attribute needs to point to the machine account of the domain controller. A ticket granting ticket can be requested for the DC account from the context of a standard user. This will work because the attribute SAM account name has now the value of the domain controller machine account. In order to request a service ticket the SAM account name attribute needs to be reverted back to its original value or any other value. Since the TGT is already stored in memory the service ticket can be requested on behalf of the domain admin using S4U2 self Kerberos extension. Since the original ticket belongs to the DC user which now doesn't exist as the SAM account name has been renamed, Kerberos will look for the DCS which is a valid machine account and will issue the ticket for the requested service.
from the existing session mimicots can be executed in order to dump the hash of KRBTGT account using the DC sync technique for the creation of a golden ticket. This will validate that the user can perform domain administrator actions.